he, like he said, he is really good. He's the best defensive player we've seen on tape. Uh, plays with great motor. Um, so it looks like they give him some freedom, and he's but he's always in the right place at the right time. But he uh, chases things down, never takes a playoff. Uh, explosive, strong. Um, yeah, we just got to be aware where, where he is at all times. Does he move? Uh, is he just an end, or will they move him inside and try to get him different matchups? Uh, they, they, they move him around a little bit. Uh, I mean, I've seen him drop in coverage. He's he's uh, a definite weapon on the edge. Um, but uh, yeah, they haven't used him inside too much. But it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he can just, he has a skill set that can do a lot of different things, and and they use it well. Michigan hasn't seen a quarterback like Adrian this year, really. How do you guys take advantage of that and catch them off guard with some of the stuff Adrian does? Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're kind of be who we are and kind of do what we do, and and hope you know Adrian continues to play well and, and do some good things. Uh, I know Rutgers has a guy that can. They ran, he ran the ball decent. Uh, Played, played here is pretty good player, you know, similar. But I do think Adrian's playing at a at elite level right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just I hope that shows again on Saturday. I know he's he's fired up for the challenge. You talked to Scott yesterday about the the way that your new starting offensive linemen handled themselves. Was there anything about the way Teddy and Nori and then Turner on the other side played that, that surprised you at all? Or what did you make of? Uh, well, you you never know. Uh, when you put new guys in, especially starting, how they're going to handle it. Uh, we felt good about it. That's why we made the change. Um, so, yeah, you just, you, as a coach, sometimes you, just, you were how are they going to handle their first start, big game, conference game, all that type of stuff, and they handled it really well. You know, and they, they proved it in practice, so we had a good – we felt a lot of confidence going in that they were going to play well. And the competition's made everyone better. So it's, it's been a good thing for us. That's huge. Yeah, it, yeah, last game was the healthiest we've been all season as far as I think everybody was available for the most part, um, which was really good because you can rest guys. Uh, you, I think we had a whole bunch of different guys touch the ball, which we want to continue to do that. Um, it just helps everybody else out. It helps you in practice too. What about Oliver in particular? You obviously missed more time with a lot of these guys. Um, how do you think he looks and how do you guys manage getting him back to full depth? Good. Yeah, no, he did good. He's full speed, 100%. 100%. We. Uh, we were a little cautious in the beginning of the week, just wanted to make sure that we weren't rushing him back too soon. But, you know, just gauging him, he, he felt like he was good to go, and uh, he, he played like it. So, yeah, we're happy with, with his progress. Scott, Scott said on, on Saturday that he'd been waiting to see someone make a tackle of this, sort of turn a, a small game into a big game. Uh, is Jacquez, I guess, sort of uniquely suited for that? And then also more generally, um, how nice was it to see some of the playmakers Turn a modest game to a yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, yards after contact, something we talk about all the time. And uh, Yant did a great job taking advantage of his opportunity. Just, just running physical, running physical, running through arms, running with low pad level. Um, had good ball security. So that that, that was a big deal to because that's something that we've, like you said, we haven't done a great job of that. Um, and that that was big to see him give us that. And I thought Ramir ran really well as well. And and he actually. There were, there were some hidden yards where he broke through some tackles as well. And some of the receivers, we didn't throw a lot to the receivers as far as just like quick game where they had opportunity, but we saw some guys make plays, which was good out in space. And so all, all our skilled guys, and Adrian's been doing it all all year long, uh, breaking tackles, making guys miss, and running well with the football. How much did Ian still have to learn at the start of the camp? This guy, you know, made a, a big mention about how yeah. much weight he had to lose, but where was he at in, in his first knowing the offense? Yeah. Uh, well, to his credit, he's done a good job. It's hard. I mean, he's a freshman, so I think any freshman trying to learn a new scheme and, and is hard. And so he's got to have reps. Uh, but a big part of his deal is what Coach Frost said: is conditioning. You know, and getting him down. I think he's lost 30 pounds and getting him playing shape. Um, because if, if you're tired, nothing looks good. And and so getting him to be able to do more than one consecutive carry, and and he's embraced that and worked his tail off. And he. Uh, I know Coach Frost, Coach Held really challenged him to get in plain shape, and he did that, and it showed on Saturday. Hey, Matt, is Thomas Fidelity returning to practice this week? Did he come back? Yes. Yep. Was Monday his first day back? Uh, I think so. I think so. He's been, he's been conditioning with us the whole time, but just getting out. Uh, and, again, that's, that's kind of a medical question, so I don't know exactly where, where that is at. But he looks great. His rehab's gone faster than expected. Um, he's done a great job. He's done a great job of staying in the game mentally. So uh, yeah, I hope he can go soon, but I don't, I don't know.
how have you seen that the tight end position? You kind of had to fill it out in the early weeks when Austin and Travis were dealing with these things too. How have you seen it kind of come together depth wise and Chancellor and some, some other guys? Chris, I guess. Yeah, well, it was the, the, the blessing in disguise, it's good to have everyone healthy and back, and, and Austin and Travis are two focal point players for our offense. But when they were down, those other guys got experience and depth. And so they still have that experience and depth. And when you bring your two, you know, your, your two experienced starters back, now you have just a, a more conditioned room of guys that can play and, and spell guys. So it's just it, when those guys got hurt, it gave someone else an opportunity to get better and get reps. And so they, they took advantage of that. So we just feel like we have more depth at that position. It seems like Burlington sort of lives for those goal line situations. You, know, you like watching him on film, watching some of his blocks back. Yeah, I lo love his toughness. He, I mean, he's a fearless player. He, he can play receiver. So he's... He knows both uh, receiver and tight end, and yeah, we we can do a lot of different things with that guy. And I, he he has a lot of good stuff ahead of him. You know, another first year player that got here, you know, in the summer trying to figure things out, and he's done a great job. Very conscientious, uh, very cerebr cerebral, picks things up fast. And then I think what you guys see is how physical he is, and he's done a really good job of that when we've used him. Uh, they do everything well. I mean, they're one of the best in the, in the college football, you know, as far as giving up points, which is the number one thing, is not letting your opponent score more points than, than you. Uh, you know, the, Hutchinson gets a lot, and he deserves everything he gets, but the other edge rushers are pretty darn good too, you know, and, and they have depth where they, sub, they have different sub packages. Uh, when, they, when they bring different guys in, the, the different guys, that level still stays at a high level as far as guys playing fast, running the football, being physical. Um, they've created a lot of negative plays, which has got guys behind the sticks and forces you to, to do things that you may not want to do. Uh, we want to stay out of negative plays. Um, but they've done a good job of that. And, uh, you know, they're, they're very physical, so they pin their ears back and they, they tackle well. They uh, sprint to the ball. They play hard, so they're well motivated. They're well coached. Um, they're playing together, so it's going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. Uh, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's a good question. I think uh, that was a focal point for us in the summertime is figuring out ways to get the ball down the field. You know, you, you got to have a quarterback that can do that. You got to be able to protect. There's a whole bunch of things that go into that. Um, developing pass concepts that you feel comfortable with that your guys can execute. So, you know, that was a big mission for us. And you got to have playmakers that can make plays. So, and we, we've been better this year than we were last year. And I, I think that's going to continue to improve. Um, but yeah, that, the thing that we want to be to a defense is we don't want to be one dimensional. Um, and we want, defense, we want to be able to threaten the whole field. You know, because if, if you can't threaten the ball down the field and that changes the way they play, they can be a lot more aggressive. So we always want to be able to do that, throw the ball down the field. But we also want to be able to spread them out horizontally, make them defend you know, the flats. And that helps us run the football.